Alright, alright guys, Dreadnought's back for another review today and we're going to be looking at the Kotobukiya Zatanna DC Comics Pashoju statue and I'm super excited to take a look at this thing and get her out of the box. Taking a look at the front here, nice window display, some Zatanna artwork here at the bottom and we'll look at the other side here, great piece of artwork covering the whole side and on the other side another window display and that same artwork. On the back, we've got uh, two pics of the figure, the front and the back, looking really good. And coming soon, Black Canary. Excited about that one as well. Zatanna here on the top, another window. And we'll look at the bottom. I don't think there's much going on. Yeah, nothing back there. So let's crack this thing open and take a look at and it. And just a closer look at the unboxing. Uh, comes standard, the cutout for the face as we normally see in the box. And then two pieces of plastic held together with four pieces of tape, two on each side that just have to come off and separate these two to get her out. So we'll get this off and take a closer look. And here she is out of the box and just looking absolutely gorgeous. Just beautiful, beautiful piece. Great sculpt work. Uh, no real uh, assembly required. Uh, you have to insert the wand after unboxing her, but she already comes mounted to the base. And as we get a closer look at the sculpt work, they just did a great job in her hair. All the little curls and detail in there. Uh, love the little curl on top. Just beautiful, beautiful work. The face, uh, if you can see here, they did a great job on the paint with the lips. And uh, you can see some teeth in there just a little bit. And those eyes are just absolutely stunning. I mean, they did a great job. A lot of detail in both eyes. Just great job overall. Uh, as we look throughout the arm here, uh, you can see some subtle sculpting in the glove and through the wand. Just awesome. And the button here, just great sculpt through and through. Through the jacket uh, and the blouse, you know, with the ruffles and the buttons. The wrinkles here, the vest, just beautiful. Let's take a look at this hat. I do wish the hat was removable. You know, it would have been nice. Or maybe if it had, you know, a rabbit or something that came in it. Um, you know, that would be nice. But you know, nothing in there. It's hollow, but you know, looks good. You know, nice red over that. And this is fishnet is movable. You know, it's real. And I like that. It's a nice detail. Um, you know, I can't tell if it's actually holes in each one, but it's definitely fabric over it. Uh, so I'm assuming that you can't really pull any off to see if that's the sculpt you're looking at underneath. But just beautiful, beautiful uh, work through here. Looks good. Nice detail on the wrinkles in the boots at the bend of her knee. You know, great detail in the shoes. And look at the back. See under the coat, just an awesome color and detail in there. You know, nice butt. Um, you know, just uh, I like the seams through here. It doesn't take away from the figure. Just looks good. Sexy, sexy figure here. Uh, we'll look at the base. You can see it's got the Z. You know, gold. It does have a screw under here if you wanted to remove her. I'm not sure, you know, why you would, but um, it's there if you want. So just beautiful figure overall. Just looks really, really good. I'm really impressed. Uh, great detail. There's the, the money shot. Uh, just very nice. I can't say enough about it. Detail in the rows up there, just in case I forgot to mention. So looks great. Do have one gripe and one gripe only with the figure, uh, with the wand. Uh, as I was inserting it and... Uh, and positioning it, uh, it did snap a little bit. And I'll try and get some, see if I can zoom in here I mean, to get a look at that. There's a tiny break in there, and you can see it's coming apart. So I'm going to take some glue to fix that. It's actually almost broken, it's completely in half. So, you know, disappointed in that. But other than that, uh, you know, and I probably should have just been more careful when I removed it. Uh, could have cracked that during um, removing it from the package. So, anyway, I was super excited and I'm super impressed. And uh, she's going to be a great addition to my collection. All right, here's the Tana compared to a couple other Bishoju statues. The Starfire here on the left and Batgirl on the right. And, you know, this is a common thing you see with these statues. They don't 
typically scale well together. Um, you know, you can see the frame of Batgirl is much smaller, smaller head. Zatanna towers over both these. I do think proportion-wise, these two are probably closer together. Um, you know, other than, you know, she's up on the stand and she's hunched over. So, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's the difference, I would say. And here's a look at them from the back. I know everybody likes that. The money shot there. All right, and here she is compared to a couple of other Zatanna figures from my collection. The DC Universe Classic Zatanna here on the left. Then the DC New 52 Zatanna from DC Collectibles here on the right with two right feet. Thank you, DC Collectibles. And we'll get a measurement here and see how tall she is. And I don't know if you can tell, but she's actually close to 10 inches at the top of her hand there. Uh, so a very tall figure. So all in all, I have to say she's definitely a buy for me. Very nice. I love these Bishoju statues. They're very beautiful, have great sculpts, uh, and usually the paint is very nice on them. And this one doesn't miss the mark here. I would just say one thing. Be very careful with the wand when removing it from the package and inserting it in her hand once you uh, display her. You know, that seemed to be a very fragile piece. But other than that, she's a great figure overall, and I really enjoy it. A um, couple things, uh, Facebook link in the description below, as, as well as Twitter. And um, also there's a link to some pics from my collection on Toy Arc and the forums. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe. Please click like. Uh, definitely got some more content coming for you guys. So uh, we hope you uh, continue to watch, and we enjoy uh, doing these so um, thank you again um, would like to see more comments and suggestions so you guys uh, leave a comment leave a suggestion anything you'd like to see or anything you'd like to add to my review I did get a message where somebody I know a lot of the video guys do bloopers at the end so I figure I'll throw a blooper at the end of this video if people like it I may continue to do it so blooper here at the end again thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you soon DC Universe Zatanna here on the left Damn you, Zatanna.